Hi, I'm Ben Finio with Science Buddies, and this is an Arduino breathing monitor. In this video, I'll explain what it's for and how it works. For a complete parts list, circuit diagram, and example code so you can build your own, check out the link in the description of this video. Let's start with what it's for. This is a device that helps you visualize your relative amounts of chest and belly breathing. Chest breathing, also called thoracic breathing, occurs when you take shallow breaths that do not fully inflate your lungs. Belly breathing, also called diaphragmatic breathing, occurs when you take deep breaths using the diaphragm, a muscle below your lungs, that fully inflate your lungs. According to the Cleveland Clinic, the technique of belly breathing offers several benefits to your body, such as reducing heart rate and blood pressure and improving relaxation. I won't discuss these potential benefits in this video, but for more information, you can check out the link in the description. I will give a brief overview of how to practice belly breathing. You can do this while sitting, standing, or laying down. Place one hand on your chest and one hand on your stomach. Then, when you inhale, take deep breaths and watch your hands. You want the hand on your chest to stay relatively still, while the hand on your stomach moves in and out as you take those deep breaths, like this. This Arduino circuit provides visual feedback about your breathing without the need to use your hands. It has two stretch sensors connected to straps. One goes around my chest, and one, just below the table here, goes around my stomach. These straps have conductive rubber cords. When the cords stretch, their resistance changes. I have a circuit here on this breadboard that converts this change in resistance to a change in voltage that the Arduino can measure. The Arduino then lights up two different sets of LEDs, one for the chest and one for the stomach, proportionally to the amount of stretch. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at the circuit. You can see here I have two sets of LEDs, green for the chest sensor and blue for the stomach sensor. Now, these have been lighting up because I'm talking while making this video, but watch what happens if I stop talking and just breathe. First, I'm going to take a shallower chest breath that mostly only causes the chest sensor to stretch. You can see when I did that, only the green LEDs lit up. Now watch what happens when I take a deeper belly breath, which will cause the stomach sensor to stretch. You can see that I still lit up a few of the green LEDs, meaning the chest sensor still stretched a bit, but I also lit up all of the blue LEDs, indicating that I stretched the belly sensor as well. I can therefore use this device to visualize my relative amounts of chest and belly breathing as I breathe. There is some additional information about the circuit that I won't go over in this video, like how you calibrate it for different users. But again, all of that information is in the written instructions linked in the description of this video. The written instructions also contain examples of how you can use this device for science projects. If you've never used an Arduino before, we have a great Introduction to Arduino series that we'd recommend checking out before you try this project. Again, you can find that link in the description of this video. If this project doesn't really catch your interest, but you still need to find a science project, you can check out our website where we have a library of over 1,200 other science projects. You can browse them by area of science, or take a quiz and answer some questions about yourself so we can find a science project that matches your interests. Just like a streaming service might recommend movies they think you'll like, we'll recommend science projects we think you'll like based on information about you. You can find all that and more at our website, www.sciencebuddies.org.